Just yesterday, Kenya joined the rest of the world in marking the World Day Against Human Trafficking. The International Labour Organization estimates that 21 million people are victims of forced labour globally, most of them being victims of human trafficking. This year, the commemoration focuses on responding to trafficking of children and young people. The United Nations Office on Drugs and uh, Crime pre preliminary data indicates that children make up almost 30% of all human trafficking victims across the world. Ray Polo now brings us the plight of some girls who are trapped in sex tourism. Lured by fake promises and deadly deceit, millions fall prey to traffickers who net nearly $100 billion every year in human trade. Some victims pushed by poverty and others by a sheer dream of greener pastures that often turn grey and gory. With dignity denied and liberty sold out, trafficked persons like Elena and Katso, not their real names, survive on sponsors. Katso has been in the trade since she was just 14 years old. Elena, on the other hand, began at 18. She is now 22 years old. Victims are often coerced into sexual exploitation, forced labor, domestic servitude, forced begging and stealing, radicalization, and even compelled to sell skin and other organs. 15,000 children in the coast who are trafficked because of commercial sex work. There are about 60,000 forced labor migrants who go to the Middle East nationally, the statistics. And there are about 9,000 street beggars in the coast region alone who are victims of trafficking. Uh, and sometimes this is done online because um, uh, it is not easily detectable. Sex tourism and human trafficking are complicated vices that seem to thrive within a web of local and international cartels. Here in Kenya, both state and non-state actors are consolidating efforts toward dismantling demand source. While the crime attracts hefty penalties of 30 million shillings or 30 years imprisonment, many people involved still escape legal traps. The alarm resonates with other global leaders. Many players now pray that the desired change may come soon and deliver freedom and dignity to the millions chained by human trafficking across the world. Ray Polo, KT News.